I am thankful to Mr. Ramesh and Mrs. Sunita Ramesh who had recently travelled to Rishikesh in Missouri and they have been kind enough to share their photos and also gave a beautiful narration about the places they had visited. I was also able to relive my memories as I had visited long back. It's going to be very useful for our viewers and I thank you sincerely Mr. Ramesh and Mrs. Sunita Ramesh for the support you have given. I am Ramesh. My wife Sunita and I have come to Rishikesh. Now we have come behind Swami Dayananda Saraswati Ashram and we are just looking at the Ganges. Just watching the Ganges itself is a sadhana, just watching it flow by is a great sadhana. There are people sitting here and enjoying the Ganges. I have always felt the flowing chill river Ganga is always fascinating and it has some attraction towards me. This video is about Rishikesh in and around Dhyanand Saraswati Ashram. My wife Sunita and I travelled to Rishikesh a few days back. We flew to Delhi and from Delhi we had another flight to Dharadun. And from Dharadun, Rishikesh is about half an hour's drive in the car. We went to Kovilur Vedanta Mutt. This mutt is run by one Amma who is from Karyakudi. This ashram was built by her husband who was a sannyasi. Since he is no more, his wife, that is Amma who we call her, takes care of the ashram. The location of the ashram is very good. It is just adjacent to Swami Dayananda Saraswati. If anybody wants to do poor feeding, Amma accepts the money, cooks the food in her kitchen itself and feeds the poor. In this ashram, we have seen mostly South Indians staying for a week and more. And Amma allows all pujas, homams and chantings to be done. In the ghat, if you go towards the left, and walk for some time, you will reach Janaki Jula. There are already two Julas, Ram Jula and Lakshman Jula. And this Janaki Jula has been recently constructed. If you walk towards the right side, you reach Triveni Ghat. Triveni Ghat is a venerated place where many people come and do last rites and rituals for their loved ones. Moreover, Krishna is believed to have visited this place when he was injured by an arrow by a hunter. There is also a beautiful temple near the ashram. It's known as Chandreshwar Mahadev temple. It's a very beautiful temple. We visited the temple. There is a cave inside the temple in which uh, uh, Swami Vivekananda had sat in meditation. In these temples we are also allowed to do Abhishegam by ourselves. It's, it's a thrilling experience. The back gate of Swami Dayanand's ashram leads to a ghat where many benches are placed and people sit on the benches and watch the beautiful Ganga flowing. People can also walk and uh, towards uh, or after 7 p.m. Uh, they can watch the Ganga Aarti performed by the Anand Ashram. When you walk towards the left side uh, of the Ghat, you can see um, Janaki Jula, which has been very recently constructed. And of course, uh, Ram Jula and Lakshman Jula are already there. Masuri is one of India's best hill stations. The Vanna Drive from Dehradun to Masuri is an exciting experience, wasn't it Ramesh? Yes, it was, certainly. The ropeway to Gun Hill Point was exhilarating and the view of Masuri and Dehradun from the various locations on Gun Hill Point was breathtaking. And what about the walk on the camel back road with all the scenic views of the hills and the valleys? Was heavenly and soothing. What do you say? Yes. I was impressed. I was also impressed by the messages of late Sri Nirankari Baba on posters 
which enhanced the beauty of the road itself. Moreover, his ashram on top of a hillock on this road is captivating. How well this ashram maintains Camelback Road. Very true. What a pleasant walk we had. And of course, the last surprise at the end of the Camelback Road was the Masuri Library in the midst of many shops, a temple and a Gurdwara. Do you know that this library was established in 1843? The pristine beauty of the building has a great history. Yes, yes, yes. Very true, Ramesh. And this has been really a very satisfying stay at Masuri. I am really happy that both of us decided to make, take, make a visit to Masuri. The couple also visited Dehradun and they are sharing their experiences. After the pandemic, uh, we had the desire to travel, the Darju was back and so we decided to go to Dehradun. Both of us decided to pay our respects to Lord Shiva first and so we visited Tapkeshwar Mahadev Mandir at Dehradun. It is known to have one of the oldest shivling in the cave and water droplets continuously drops on the shivling, hence the name Tafkeshwar. There is also a very huge statue of Hanuman there in the temple and inside the temple we felt very very serene. Yes, yes, that experience was really good and uh, so many people had come uh, to pour uh, water also on the shivling. Uh, it was a delight to see and have this experience. We were curious about robber's cave or known as Guchupani and that was our next visit. It is a natural cave formation where rivers flow inside the cave. As you walk, it becomes narrower and cooler and the water is knee deep. In the late 18th century, robbers used this cave to hide from the British. Indeed a thrilling experience. We have always been influenced by Buddha's teachings and so we could never miss the mind-rolling monastery and the Buddha temple. Unfortunately, the monastery was closed and only the Buddha temple was open. This monastery was established in the 60s to promote Buddhist culture. There is a very big statue of Buddha and the Bodhisattva Padma Sambhava. The world peace stupa here is the largest in the world. There was a very huge and beautiful prayer wheel which, when rotated, a bell rings. It is meant to wake you up from the grips of Maya. Our next visit was Forest Research Institute and I was stunned by the largeness of the campus. All the buildings here are considered to be architectural marvels. There are six museums in which only four were open. There was a lot of information and exhibits of plant pathology. It was interesting to see plants from which Ayurveda medicines are prepared. This place is a delight for any botany or Ayurveda student. After enjoying half a day's stay on this campus, we returned to our room fully rejuvenated. Yes, I agree with you. It was really a very refreshing trip. We felt as if we also travelled with you to Rishikesh, Dehradun and Missouri. Thanks a lot.